Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for another Honor Summons video. You know, it's nice. I mentioned I took a little bit of time off as I had this big move that we just finished up, and really it made me all that much more excited to come back in and start doing these videos again. I really missed it while I was away. So glad to be doing this again, and you can see that since there, we did have that extra time, I was really able to build up a lot of scrolls for this. So we're going to have about 35... Uh, 35, I think, of these honor summons, so this should be really nice. We should get some people up to the next couple levels. Since they did change and go to six stars in the meantime, there's nobody here that's going to be kept out of the group. Uh, everyone is fair game for these rolls. Nobody at that six star level so far. So we can, we can roll even chances, everybody, and we'll get started. Let's see what we can get. Again, the best things for me, the biggest things I'm looking for, are when you get, uh, not silver chests, that's for sure, when you get the writing up across the top with a whole bunch of hero tokens. That's probably the number one thing I'm looking for, and beyond that, the gold chests that end up having Celestial Evos in them, also a very high pick. So 25 tokens for Chief Nub Nub, we will definitely take that. I would love to get him to 6 star right away. Very powerful character, already a fifth of the way there, already 20% on our way towards that level. Let's see what else we can get. We do have a lot of summon or a lot of scrolls here. So Samurai Takumi, that's great. We're working him towards the five star. And now that I hit level cap, he is also working his way up to level 60. Keep those white letters coming with some more hero tokens. Alright, gold chest. And we got some more from Minglejaw. Looks like it's time to bring him up to that next level. He'll be up at the four-star level. I do wish there was some kind of deal. I'm saving these up. I've had some people ask, uh, especially recently, whether or not it's worthwhile to save up your scrolls or what you should use them for. And I would say the vast majority of your scrolls you should be using on these Honor Summons rolls. Uh, it's nice. We get some gems here and a few other things. Um, there is the honor, the uh, scroll shop, the honor shop, and once in a while you'll find something that's useful in there. I rarely find anything that seems like it's worth the cost in scrolls, but it's always an option to keep an eye out on. All right, some more for Chief Nub Nub, and it does seem to add up uh, that you you know you end up getting these experience pots and. That can really help out, especially when you're in the midst of leveling. Once you get to that level cap, it's not necessarily as important because you're just gonna—it's just a matter of time before everybody you get everybody up to that cap. Another question I had recently, you know, a lot of times I talk about only being able to keep maybe six to eight heroes at full level, and there's also the complication. Let's see what we get here: gold chest. Um, there's also the complication of either doing loot keys. Nice. Doing a little too much at the same time, but that's a nice uh, Celestial Evo to get here. So there's a complication of getting using loot keys or just running through the levels. That's a question. And I did uh, put a video out recently on some of my thoughts on using loot keys. And something I mentioned was that it's hard to keep all your characters at full level. And some people said, no, no, they don't have any trouble. They keep everybody at full level. But I believe that happens more people who spend gems, because then if you get to VIP level 3, you get the 50% increased in the experience you get from, from uh, experience pots. And you also get a lot of experience pots, like the highest end experience pots, you get those from the gem rolls. So if you're buying a lot of gems, you're going to see that, and you're not going to have as much trouble keeping your characters up at higher levels. But for people who aren't spending as much, you'll run into more of those troubles. Here we go, let's get some more. So Black Diamond is another one I've been pushing fairly hard. I think she will be amazing at six star. Again, the star level increases your crit chance as well, and getting her crit chance up as high as possible uh, is a very nice thing to do for her. That's great. I have brought Therand up to the full level. He's been very helpful in a lot of the end campaign maps because he's got that uh, times two multiplier on anybody that has armor and also takes less damage and a lot of the end campaign maps have high numbers of uh, armored uh, armored characters within those levels. Nice, another set for Chief Nub Nub. That is, again, 
basically him and Black Diamond, those are two of my top priorities for this. All right, let's go to the next. We have a bit of a slow connection there. And a silver chest. Let's see what we got. So just the one Celestial Evo so far. We'll keep working our way through. we still got over 20 of these. Another silver chest. Get some more for Cobalt. And some more gems. We had some technical difficulties there, but I believe it's all behind us. We're going to continue. We just have another 21 of these. Good. Got some more for Femus. He's working his way towards that four star level. He's mad. Excellent. So I'd rather get him here. You can also get him in the heroic summons. And that happened to me. I got a whole bunch of him a couple times back in heroic summons. And that is not my favorite one to pull off there, so I'm hoping to get him up to the max level doing that through heroic or through honor summons. Basically, so it'll pull him out of the heroic and save that up for some of the other characters I can't get anywhere else. Alright, some more for Chief Nub Nub. Let's roll for some white letters. I want to will it into being. There we go, Dagron. I won't complain about that. So he is now at the five star level and we'll have one extra on his way to six star. He's kind of a fun character to use and it is nice to have him up at that higher star level. He's not quite as useful as some of the others in a lot of the modes that I would normally use the characters in. Uh, so it's nice if he's at that higher level, at least that makes him a little more competitive. All right, we're getting a whole slew of silver chests right now. Takumi, nice. So he is getting even closer. Two more of those will have him up to the five star level. He's a nice, uh, hardy character. He's got that never miss, that swing that never misses. Um, so a nice addition, especially a good complement with Igo Rock since he can freeze or chill, and then you get the times three multiplier for that Arctic Rush uh, skill or. Arctic Rush, Arctic Blast, something like that that Igor Rock has after his first ascension. Let's see if we can get a gold chest here. And always watching, just waiting, hoping we'll get one of those Celestial Evos. Not that much luck here, but seven hero tokens, so not too bad. I'm trying to be a little more intentional about saving up my gold now for some of the great summons rolls. Nice, so there's another, um, I think that is probably Cape Born, because I think these are the guys that needed Cape Born. So, um, good, nice to get another Celestial Evo there. I was saying, when I get uh, enough of the gold saved up, I'll be able to continue leveling up some of the characters, leveling up their, uh, their star levels. So this is great. Again, if I can get Samurai Takumi up to that five-star level, it just makes it all that much more attractive to put him in in my uh, water all-water team, which I use regularly in all-water team for the uh, Gold Island. And I think I might record that sometime soon. I'll say it now uh, for anyone who's watching this video, but I'll probably make a video about it sometime later. If you get the purple chest on the last on the highest level for the Gold Island you get like 360,000 gold, which is really a big chunk of gold. Uh, and even even when you just get a silver chest, it's still over 100,000. So really, really you can pull in a lot of gold that way. Nice, another Celestial Evo here. My Phenol is also getting up to almost four star. And he's, he's fairly hard to farm for, so it's nice to be getting him up to that level. I may try to get him in for some more playtime sometime soon too. Chief Nub Nub, awesome. As many, I'll take as many of these as I can get. He's got a long ways to go towards that six star level, but we just keep doing it this way. I'm pulling in a lot of scrolls at this point. Take those for Ignis. 
It's funny. I'm not sure yet at this point, someone may be able to comment on this, what determines how many hero tokens they get when you would have unlocked them. So Squinch for me is always like 10. Uh, Ignis seems to come up with 15 a lot. And some of the other, you know, like Chief Num Num's almost always 25. Samurai Takumi's almost always 25. I don't know. Samurai Takumi, he starts off, I believe, as a three-star character. Chief Nub Nub, though, does not. Uh, so I, I don't know exactly how that works out. If anyone knows a direct correlation how that works out, feel free to leave that in the comments. I'll try to pass that information on. Nice. All right, so we've got another one here. This might be Brawny. I think this is the Brawny Celestial Evo. I feel like it's a guessing game during these videos since they cut off the top. Uh, we don't get to fully know. So the nice thing about getting these three, that means if we get one more of those, that 25 set, we'll have Samurai Takumi at that five-star level. would like to see some more for Black Diamond. It'd be nice if we could get those before the end of this roll. The end of cumulative rolls. Awesome. I needed this Evo more than any other one right now. I'm leveling up Yokozuna, um, and I was missing one, so we'll go ahead and do his ascension during this video at the end. Like I said, really looking forward to that. I'm also hoping to get enough for Echo. Unfortunately, he ended up being near the bottom of the list just because other characters that were really needed to be ascended at that time. Looking forward to getting him up there as well, but Yokozuna really needed that, so awesome that we got that Celestial Evo at this time. Alright, Silver Chest. Two more for Dagron, moving him on, working towards that 6 star level. Working our way down to the last 5 of these rolls. We've gotten some good stuff, I'm really happy with these. I read on the forums, it sounds like some people are still... There was a... There was a cheat, and that's, I guess, what I'm trying to address here. There was basically, a, you could call it a cheat or a glitch or something, where you used to be able to bring on uh, a lot of friend invites, and it wouldn't matter if you'd use them or not. You could then get rid of them, bring new ones on. You could pull in a whole lot of scrolls, and I believe they fixed that now, but some people who did it early on had a ton of scrolls, and obviously you could imagine uh, doing that and just bringing in so many that they had a lot left over, they'd already maxed all their characters. But I did not, and I am generally not for that kind of business. Uh, trying to find cheats or glitches. You know, anything that they intended, I am all for that. Alright, so Rogar here, and he's the only one which makes it an easy decision. And a few more tokens for other people, other characters. Nub Nub, awesome. So he is now over halfway. That's great. I mean, if we can save up and do this a couple more times over the next, say, two weeks or so, it looks like I'll probably be able to get one of these Honor Summons videos out even once a week if we do something like 20 or 25. And inevitably I'm going to have some people ask how I'm able to earn these up so quickly. And I have gone over that in some other videos, but the main thing is Always make sure you do all your dungeon raiding. Always make sure you use as many of your friends as possible, which means not using the loot keys. Go into the level, use the friend, uh, use your friend's characters so that you get 30 scrolls and they get 30 scrolls. That also, I think, oftentimes reminds your friends to use yours as they, you know, go in their mailbox and collect those. I've only got two left. Let me head it over to Yokozuna. I don't know if anyone followed where that name came from. I actually looked it up today, somewhat inadvertently. I was trying to look up the character and didn't type in Dungeon Boss, and it actually popped up where that reference comes from. And it could go back further than this, but there was... It probably does, because this guy's probably, was probably referencing uh, this character, but there is a WW something, uh, WWF, something like that, uh, wrestler that went by that name. So he was probably referencing something even further back, but that's something uh, in the U.S. that that name is definitely associated with. So nothing too big on our last one here. Let's go over to Yokozuna. So 
He was uh, something like a sumo wrestler that came over. There's a Wikipedia page for him. I'm sure that there's a much deeper history. Um, he's probably just borrowing that name off of that deeper history. Let's go down to Yokozuna. He's almost at that level 60 cap. And as well, not far from the four star level. The four star, even four star for him is really good. There's only these limited three locations that you can farm for his tokens. So looks like I've got 26 of them left. It's still going to be, you know, somewhere in the order of eight or nine days before I can get him to that four star level. But we can ascend him now. That was the last piece I needed, and we'll get his taunt in now. All right, let's go for it. So. Another thing, I try to bring these things up multiple times because I realize everyone's not watching every video, but the stats do increase every time that you ascend someone. So we'll just take take a look at his health. You can always rewind as many times as you want to and look at the other stats. But here we've got 3,802. Nice. And nice little change to his graphic. Look at his stats. So we're not going to see anything here. I mentioned this in a previous video. So let's go out and then go back in. And that updates the interface. Go over to his stats. Oh. And now he's over 4,000. So he got over 300 health point boost from this. And there's the, here it's not as big as the star bonus. It's not as big of an increase in stats as going up a star level. But still significant. And you've got to think as well. It's a larger health pool but also even more defense which means they're going to be hitting for uh, less damage out of a larger health pool. It really makes a big difference to increase those stats. We'll go over to that taunt. Everyone knows what taunt does. Um, but another thing to point out, all of his skills are five turn skills, and he can really add a lot of survivability to a team. I think he's well known for his addition to PvP teams. And I'm going to talk more about this in other videos, but a really powerful PvP team right now starts with Yokozuna. And it starts, when I mean it starts with him, he's in the very first position. So you put him as the first normal character, and the next one, um, and there's a couple reasons for that. We'll step back real quick. I didn't mean to go this deep into PvP in this video, but it's, it's worthwhile and I think kind of interesting. He's got a couple things that make him really powerful. One, he's got a huge uh, bank of health. He also has this Twinkle Toes, so after a crit, he has a chance to dodge attacks. And so presumably if that, you know, if he takes a critical hit, then he becomes even harder to hit. I believe that's the way that that works. I'll be continuing to, to use him and, and learn a little more. He also has this bonus to health for all warriors. You can see he is a warrior. He already has a huge health pool and he has this 15% increased health as well. So very hard to take him down. And because his attack doesn't do a whole lot, it just reduces the, uh, you know, reduces the chance that the other team can hit you, then it's okay if he gets taken out early. So as a first player, he works really well. And then the next player often is Bovis Del Doro because if he lives, you know, so if they take out Yokozuna, it's just hard to take him out. But if uh, he gets taken out, it's not critical to your team. Then you put in Bovis Del Doro. He'll knock everyone's energy back one. And then right after that, I go rock, which will freeze anyone that's left. And then after that, I usually would want to finish up with uh, Tasumi because if they've done, if they've used a fast team, then they're going to have done two area attacks usually, two area effect attacks, and that's going to have taken down Tasumi's health enough to give him an attack bonus modifier, so that even if you if they've used then two other single person attacks and taken out two of your characters, if you've still got Tasumi left he's probably going to finish off anyone on a fast team. So very powerful team, very hard to to beat that team. Um, so that's that's the team I'm trying to put together, trying to get everyone up to high enough levels and work on that. Let's look at his final ascension. This self-repair is one that I was waiting for as well. I talk about this a lot, but having characters that are kind of fully embracing a single class, and he is definitely that tank class. You know, he's going to Using Sumo Stomp, he's going to make it harder to hit your characters and increase your defense. He's got Taunt, so he's going to pull in all the attacks with his huge health pool um, and increase his own defense. Plus, he's got that defense boost at that point. And then increasing his survivability to continue defending the team with self-repair. So a great character in that way, especially for PvP. 
Uh, so that's all I wanted to add here. He's now ascended as I continue to work this team up. Uh, and that's, that's all we have for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I hope there are some things that you continue to find valuable as you watch these. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see everyone soon.